much had a banana left over from your lunch? Well, I do. But I like to eat other people's stuff before I eat my own stuff. <laughs> At the old age of 76, Rusty Stevens has finally decided to tell the world about why he left the Leave It to Beaver show. Before this, the world was left in a whirlwind of intrigue and speculation regarding the beloved actor's abrupt disappearance from the show. What could have driven young Larry Mondello away from the beloved Cleaver family and into the shadows of TV history? Was it the glamorous lure of theatrical films, or perhaps a secret family move that uprooted his life? And what about the whispers of a domineering stage mother pulling the strings? Could these rumors all be smokescreens for something far more personal? But these aren't the only questions fans are worried about. We will also dive into why Jerry Mather set out to find his long-lost sidekick, Rusty. What did their reunion entail? Join us as we track down the whereabouts of each beloved cast member. Prepare for a journey full of twists, turns, and untold truths that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about Leave It to Beaver. Early Life and Getting Casted Robert Rusty Stevens was born on November 25, 1948 in Boston, Massachusetts. In the aftermath of World War II, American suburbia was deeply entrenched in optimistic hope for a period of innovation and familial values. This environment would later become a backdrop for the television classic, Leave it to Beaver. However, Stevens' journey from the bustling streets of Boston to the iconic sets of Hollywood wasn't as straightforward as it seemed. In his childhood, Rusty was an ordinary boy with an extraordinary knack for acting. He grew up in a tight-knit household where his parent had recognized his natural flair for performance at an early age and encouraged him to pursue his interests. Steven had already begun watching and studying television even in his adolescence. He absorbed the art of storytelling and drama by honing skills that reflected his own suburban reality and that set him apart from his peers. His childhood was peppered with visits to local theaters and community plays, which further fueled his passion for acting. In the early 1950s, America was also experiencing a television boom. New shows were popping up and captivating audiences with stories that mirrored their own lives. This new era of televised suburban imaginary was marked by a burgeoning demand for fresh talent, and young Rusty was ready to seize the opportunity. His first break came when a talent scout spotted him performing at a local theater. The scout there was impressed by his natural charm and comedic timing, and suggested that Rusty audition for a new television show called Leave It to Beaver. Rusty's audition was exhilarating for him, since it was his first time trying to get cast for a show. The casting directors of the beloved show were searching for a child who could embody the lovable, yet mischievous character of Larry Mondello, the best friend of Beaver Cleaver. It was quite a popular audition with hundreds of children showing up with their parents, and Stevens had to stand out amongst the sea of hopeful young actors. Despite that, his ability to deliver lines with sincerity and humor managed to catch the producer's attention. But there was more to it than just acting. Rusty's on-screen presence had successfully captured the essence of American youth, a mix of innocence, curiosity, and occasional mischief. The casting directors were completely captivated by Stevens' authenticity and decided to cast him for the role. In his audition, he wasn't just reading the lines that were given to him, he was living them simply by being himself when he delivered them. His ability to effortlessly shift from comedic moments to heartfelt scenes had won over the production team. Rusty Stevens brought Larry Mondello to life with an endearing and genuine portrayal at a time when television characters were starting to become a part of the everyday American family. Joining the cast of Leave It to Beaver was the most sound step for both the directors of the show as well as Rusty's career. The show was set to premiere in 1957 and quickly became a staple of American television after its release. As Larry Mondello, Stevens charmed viewers with his antics, which was a major contributing factor that was significant to the show's success. The chemistry between the cast members was extremely palpable, and Rusty's interactions with Jerry Mathers, the actor who played Beaver, were especially memorable. Even though his character was secondary, it was pivotal in driving the narrative and providing comic relief. Even though his character was secondary, it was pivotal in driving the narrative and providing comic relief. The casting decision was set to change Rusty Stevens' life forever, 
as he became a part of the Leave it to Beaver family. The timing for the show was just right, since the American family was reeling from the effects of the Second World War and needed a character like Larry Mondello to make them feel hopeful about the future. The Leave it to Beaver Show The storyline of Leave it to Beaver is quintessentially a snapshot of the suburban American household in the late 1950s and 60s. The Cleaver family, who are at the heart of this series, are a representation of the idealized American household that perfectly captures the nuances of suburban family dynamics. Rusty Stevens' character, Larry Mondello, was an integral side character of the show's narrative that added layers of complexity and humor to every scene he was in. Leave it to Beaver centers around the daily life and adventures of Theodore Beaver Cleaver, a young boy navigating the challenges of childhood and adolescence. The series follows Beaver, who is played by Jerry Mathers, as he learns life lessons through a series of misadventures and mishaps. These happy-go-lucky adventures would often take place under the guidance of his older brother, Wally, and the result would be him getting a lecture filled with wisdom from his parents, June and Ward Cleaver. The show's charm lies in its simplicity and relatability, which offers viewers a window into the everyday struggles and triumphs of family life. Rusty Stevens' character, Larry Mondello, plays the crucial role of Beaver's best friend. Larry is a constant companion to Beaver in his escapades and makes jokes every now and then to lighten the mood of the entire episode. The dynamic between Beaver and Larry is a central theme in many episodes. It showcases the innocence and unpredictability of childhood friendships. Larry's character is seen in contrast to Beaver's as he is often depicted as mischievous and impulsive. He is frequently seen getting both himself and Beaver into trouble. It is this contrast of personalities that makes their friendship so endearing. His antics and schemes provide a foil to Beaver's more earnest nature. The storyline involving Larry Mondello often explores themes of loyalty, the effects of peer pressure, and what the consequences of one's actions are. Larry's presence in Beaver's life serves as a catalyst for many of the show's plots. Essentially, it is Mondello who pushes Beaver into situations that require him to navigate moral dilemmas and learn from his experiences. Despite his mischievous tendencies, Larry is portrayed as a well-meaning and lovable character who embodies the carefree spirit of youth. One of the recurring elements in Leave it to Beaver is the way it addresses everyday issues through the innocence of childhood. It is this very quality that resonates with audiences of all ages. The show doesn't shy away from diving into topics about honesty, responsibility, and most important of all, the importance of family. The Cleaver household is seen to provide a warm and supportive environment that serves as a backdrop for these lessons. The interactions of Larry Mondello's character with the Cleaver family provide an up-close view into the challenges of growing up and the role that friends play in shaping one's identity. Larry's humorous yet poignant presence in the storyline sets the tone and showcases the show's ability to blend entertainment with meaningful storytelling. Throughout its run, Leave it to Beaver remained a beloved fixture on American television, thanks in part to characters like Larry Mondello. Rusty Stevens's contribution to the show's narrative helped cement its place in pop culture and left a lasting impression on audiences by influencing generations of family-centric television programming. Rumors of Rusty's departure from the show When Rusty Stevens left Leave it to Beaver after three successful seasons, fans and industry insiders were abuzz with speculation. His portrayal of Larry Mondello had become a staple of the show, and his sudden departure sparked numerous rumors that ranged from career aspirations to personal family dynamics. One of the earliest and most persistent rumors was that Rusty Stevens left the show to pursue a role in theatrical films. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, television actors often sought to transition to the silver screen. They viewed it as a step up in prestige, an opportunity within the acting community. It was widely believed that Stevens was buoyed by his popularity on Leave it to Beaver and had received offers for movie roles that were too tempting to pass up. This rumor seemed plausible given the show's success and the potential for its stars to capitalize on their fame. However, it later emerged that this was not the case. Stevens did not make any significant moves toward a film career immediately following his departure, debunking the theory that Hollywood dreams lured him away. Another popular rumor revolved around Rusty's family situation, specifically his father's job situation. 
It was said that his father had been transferred out of state due to work obligations, which forced the family to relocate and ultimately caused Stevens to leave the show. An occurrence like this was not uncommon during that time, as families frequently moved for employment opportunities, especially during the post-war economic boom. This rumor seemed to add some credibility to the story of his departure. The notion that Stevens had to choose family over career resonated with many. However, upon further investigation, this too was found to be untrue. While family needs certainly influenced Stevens's life, there is no evidence to suggest that his father's job necessitated their move or directly caused his departure from the series. Perhaps the most dramatic rumor concerning Stevens' exit involved his mother, who was alleged to be an overbearing stage mother. In Hollywood, stories of pushy parents who overmanage their children's careers are as old as the industry itself. Reports suggested that Stevens' mother was overly controlling as she often meddled in his professional decisions and clashed with people on set. Some accounts even claimed she demanded more screen time and higher pay for her son. Something like this would obviously create tensions on the show and would have prompted his removal from the show. These rumors painted a picture of a young actor caught between his passion and his parents' ambitions. However, many cast and crew members from Leave It to Beaver have dismissed these claims as exaggerated or entirely fabricated. Stevens himself has indicated that while his mother was supportive of his career and that she did not exert undue pressure or make unreasonable demands on his behalf, despite these widespread rumors, the truth behind Rusty Stevens' departure from Leave It to Beaver is much more mundane. Over the years, Stevens and his family have clarified that his exit was not due to a grand opportunity or dramatic family conflict, but rather practical considerations. As a child actor, Balancing childhood with an acting career was challenging. The decision to step away was influenced by the desire to step away from the pressures of Hollywood. The persistence of these rumors highlights the fascination that the audience has with the personal lives of those in the entertainment industry, particularly child stars. In the case of Rusty Stevens, the gap between public speculation and what really happened emphasizes the media's tendency to concoct sensational stories when a straightforward explanation exists. While his departure from Leave It to Beaver was indeed abrupt, it was not driven by ambition, family strife, or external pressures as many believed. Furthermore, the culture of secrecy and intrigue that often surrounded television productions in that era fueled these rumors. Leave It to Beaver was a groundbreaking show that captured the imagination of a nation with its depiction of family life and childhood. Any disruption to its cast or production was bound to attract significant attention and speculation. Rusty Stevens, as a key part of that ensemble, found himself at the center of these swirling rumors through no real fault of his own. The need for balance between work and personal life is something many can relate to. Even those who work outside the entertainment world relate to the issue. For Stevens, stepping away from the spotlight was a necessary step to prioritize his well-being. Despite the rumors and the gossip, Rusty Stevens' contributions to Leave It to Beaver remain cherished by fans of the show. His character, Larry Mondello, is remembered fondly for the authenticity he brought to the series. It left a lasting impression on viewers and cemented his place in television history, even though his time on the show was relatively brief. His departure also highlights the evolving nature of television fame and the pressures that come with it. In today's world, where social media and 24 7 news cycles amplify every aspect of celebrity life, the rumors that once circulated about Stevens might have been even more intense. However, the core lesson remains. Behind every rumor, there is often a simpler truth that speaks to the realities of life both in and out of the limelight. The real reason, Rusty Stevens' time on Leave It to Beaver may have seemed glamorous from the outside but the reality of being a child actor in the spotlight had its drawbacks. One of the lesser known reasons for his departure was the profound impact his role had on his social life and the yearning for normalcy that he felt. While playing Larry Mondello brought Rusty fame and admiration, it also came with challenges that influenced his decision to leave the show. Being part of a popular television series meant that Stevens was often away from the typical experiences of a child his age. While his peers were attending school full time, Participating in extracurricular activities and making friends, Stevens was on set, surrounded by adults, and immersed in the demands of acting. The nature of television production required long hours and a level of professionalism that could be isolating for a young actor. 
This detachment from a typical childhood environment took a toll on Stevens and created a sense of loneliness that many child actors of his era experienced. The intense schedule of filming Leave It to Beaver left little room for Stevens to engage in normal social interactions, missing out on school events, neighborhood playtime, and other activities that were a staple of youth contributed to a sense of isolation. While he was well-liked on set and developed camaraderie with his co-stars, it wasn't the same as forming friendships outside of work. The absence of these formative experiences meant Stevens was often caught between two worlds, one of Hollywood and one of typical suburban life. In addition to the physical demands, the emotional aspect of maintaining a public persona added pressure. Stevens had to navigate the expectations of being in the public eye where his actions and behavior were scrutinized. This scrutiny extended beyond the set and into his daily life. He had to uphold the image of his character even when the cameras weren't rolling. The weight of this responsibility could be overwhelming for someone so young and intensified his feelings of wanting a more conventional life. The disconnect between his on-screen character and real-life experiences also played a role in Stevens' decision. While Larry Mondello was seen as carefree and fun-loving, Stevens often grappled with the constraints placed upon him due to his acting commitments. As he grew older, the desire to escape the structured environment of television and explore life outside of his role became stronger. The constant presence of cameras and the rigid structure of filming created a bubble that distanced him from everyday life. Ultimately, Stevens' departure from Leave it to Beaver was a decision rooted in his longing for normalcy and a desire to reconnect with the world beyond Hollywood. By choosing to leave, he sought to reclaim his personal life. This choice underscored the complex realities faced by child actors, where the pursuit of fame often comes at the cost of personal development. Missing from the scene Jerry Mathers, best known for his role as Theodore Beaver Cleaver on the iconic TV show, continued to remain a beloved figure long after the series ended. Over time, a curiosity about the whereabouts of his former castmate, particularly Rusty Stevens, grew within our beloved Theodore. Stevens' departure from the show left fans and fellow cast members wondering what became of him. Years later, Jerry Mathers took it upon himself to find Rusty Stevens and reconnect with the friend who had seemingly vanished from the public eye. As Leave It to Beaver enjoyed continued popularity through reruns and nostalgia, the show's cast often reunited for special events and interviews. However, Rusty Stevens was notably absent from these gatherings. This always sparked intrigue among fans and colleagues alike. Stevens had chosen a different path, stepping away from acting to pursue a more conventional life. This decision, while understandable, contributed to his obscurity and left many wondering about his life post-Hollywood. Jerry Mathers often reflected on the close-knit bond the cast shared during the show's run and felt compelled to reach out to Stevens. The media's portrayal of their friendship, coupled with Mathers' genuine curiosity about Stevens' life, had motivated him to embark on this quest. He understood that the passage of time often causes people to drift apart, yet he was determined to find his old friend and see how life had treated him. Mathers began his search by tapping into the network of people who had worked on the show. He reached out to producers, crew members, and even mutual acquaintances in the hopes that he would find a lead. His inquiries revealed that Stevens had chosen a life far removed from Hollywood's limelight. After leaving the series, Rusty Stevens pursued his education and later worked in a field entirely unrelated to entertainment. This information painted a picture of someone who had deliberately distanced himself from the industry, but Mathers' determination to reconnect was unwavering. Of course, the search for Rusty Stevens was not a simple journey. Mathers encountered many dead ends and false leads along the way. Some people he contacted had lost touch with Stevens decades earlier. Others had only vague recollections of his whereabouts but could not offer anything concrete. Despite these setbacks, Mathers's resolve was strengthened by his desire to bridge the gap that had grown between them over the years. Eventually, Mathers discovered a promising lead. A former colleague recalled that Stevens had settled in the Midwest and was leading a quiet life with his family. Armed with this information, Mathers decided to reach out directly, hoping to spark a conversation and renew their friendship. The prospect of rekindling their connection after so many years was both exciting and nerve-wracking, but Mathers was committed to seeing it through. The initial contact was tentative, with Mathers unsure of how Stevens would react. However, his persistence paid off when he finally managed to speak with Stevens. 
The former actor was surprised, yet pleased to hear from his long-lost co-star. The conversation quickly turned to reminiscing about their time on Leave It to Beaver, recalling the fun they had on set and the valuable life lessons they learned during their time in the spotlight. As they talked, it became clear that Stevens had no regrets about leaving Hollywood. He had enjoyed a fulfilling life by focusing on his family and personal pursuits. Stevens appreciated Mathers' efforts to find him by expressing gratitude for the chance to reconnect and catch up. The reunion was not just a trip down memory lane, but an opportunity to reflect on how their shared experiences shaped their lives. Mather's quest to find Rusty Stevens emphasizes how long the enduring bonds formed during their years on Leave It to Beaver lasted. Despite the time and distance that separated them, their friendship proved resilient. The reunion was a testament to the lasting impact of the show and the genuine connections it fostered among its cast. In the end, Jerry Mathers' search for Rusty Stevens was more than just an effort to find a missing friend. It was a celebration of the legacy they shared and a reaffirmation of the show's enduring influence on their lives. Their reunion brought closure to a chapter that had been left open for years and allowed them to rekindle a friendship that had been forged in the unique environment of television production. For fans of Leave It to Beaver, the story of Mathers' search for Stevens added another layer of depth to the beloved series. It highlighted the personal stories behind the characters and reminded the viewers of the real-life connections that extended beyond the screen. Through his journey, Mathers illustrated that the spirit of Leave It to Beaver lives on not just in reruns, but in the enduring friendships it created. After Jerry Mathers reconnected with Rusty Stevens, the idea of small reunion projects became a delightful prospect for fans of Leave It to Beaver. These reunions offered a nostalgic trip back to the world of the Cleaver family by allowing viewers to catch up with their favorite characters years after the original series concluded. The projects not only celebrated the legacy of the show, but also highlighted the enduring friendships among the cast members. The first of these reunion efforts was Still the Beaver, a made-for-TV movie that aired in 1983. This film revisited the lives of the Cleaver family, now older and facing the challenges of adulthood. The storyline found Beaver as a divorced father struggling with life changes, providing a fresh perspective while maintaining the humor and warmth that defined the original series. Mathers reprised his role as Beaver, while other familiar faces, including Barbara Billingsley and Tony Dow, returned as June and Wally Cleaver. The movie's success led to a revival series, The New Leave It to Beaver, which ran from 1984 to 1989. Rusty Stevens' reappearance in these reunion projects was particularly significant for fans who had missed his presence in the latter seasons of the original show. His character, Larry Mondello, added a touch of nostalgia and humor, rekindling the dynamic that he and Mathers had shared. Seeing Larry Mondello again was a treat for longtime viewers who appreciated the continuity and the opportunity to see how the characters had evolved over the years. The reunions emphasized themes of family and friendship, which had always been central to the show's appeal. They explored how the characters' relationships matured as they navigated new stages of life. By reuniting, the cast could reflect on their shared history and the impact the show had on their lives and careers. For Rusty Stevens, these projects were a chance to re-engage with a role that had been such a significant part of his childhood. Still the Beaver and The New Leave It to Beaver provided a unique opportunity for the original cast to work together again. These reunions were not just about revisiting old storylines, but also about celebrating the camaraderie that had been built over years of working together. The chemistry between the cast members remained intact, creating a seamless transition from their past work to these new projects. These reunion projects also connected with a new generation of viewers. The themes of family and responsibility still make the show relevant to audiences beyond those who watched the original series. The writers and producers cleverly wove these timeless themes into the storylines, ensuring the reunions were both entertaining and meaningful. The decision to create these reunion movies and series stemmed from a genuine desire to revisit the world of Leave It to Beaver with integrity. For fans, seeing the cast reunited was a reminder of the show's impact and a testament to its place in television history. For the actors, particularly Rusty Stevens, it was an opportunity to reconnect with a beloved character and contribute once again to a legacy that had shaped their lives. Overall, the small reunion movies and series were a celebration of the enduring charm of Leave It to Beaver, 
They allowed fans and cast members alike to revisit cherished memories while exploring new chapters in the lives of the characters they loved. Where is Rusty now? Rusty Stevens has embraced a quieter life away from Hollywood's spotlight. After leaving the show, he decided to focus on his education and personal pursuits and opted for a life that starkly contrasted with the high visibility of a child star. As he grew older, Stevens found solace in the privacy and normalcy that eluded him during his acting career. Stevens pursued various interests that allowed him to explore different paths in the years following his departure from television. He eventually settled into a career far removed from acting and found fulfillment in a field that offered stability and anonymity. He took the career of being a salesman. This transition enabled him to live without the pressures associated with fame, giving him the opportunity to craft a life based on his own terms. His choice reflects a desire for a simpler existence where he could focus on family and personal growth. Rusty Stevens' decision to step away from acting was influenced by his need to experience life beyond the constraints of being a child actor. The years spent on Leave It to Beaver were pivotal, but they also highlighted the challenges of growing up in the public eye. By choosing a path outside of Hollywood, Stevens managed to preserve a sense of self and autonomy, free from the constant scrutiny of fans and media. Stevens has occasionally participated in events celebrating Leave It to Beaver, even after leaving the industry. Stevens' involvement in these gatherings shows his appreciation for the series and the part it played in shaping his early years. Yet, these appearances are rare, emphasizing his preference for a life that remains mostly out of the public's attention, which he believes was beneficial for his well-being. But these reunions also offer him a chance to reconnect with former castmates and reflect on the show's lasting impact. His story showcases how life can grow outside the confines of early fame. Stevens took this decision to prioritize personal happiness and well-being over the beauty of Hollywood, a decision that, looking back, seems to have served him well and is a testament to Stevens' character. While his time on Leave It to Beaver remains a happy and cherished memory for fans, Stevens resides in the Midwest and is successful in building a life where privacy and fulfillment take center stage adding a grounded lifestyle he desired. The city's slower pace and close-knit communities gave a clear distinction to the hustle and bustle of Los Angeles, providing him with an environment more contributing to the life he imagined for himself. This helped Stephen to enjoy the freedom to engage in everyday activities without the constant reminder of his childhood fame. This journey of Rusty Stevens is a reminder that life after fame can be just as enriching and meaningful as life within it. His story can influence those who find themselves navigating the complexities of early success and fame, as it proves that there is life beyond the glamour of Hollywood. What is the rest of the cast up to? The actors who brought the Cleaver family and their friends to life went on to pursue different paths after the series ended, and their lives are a mix of entertainment careers and progress in other fields. Besides that, the cast of Leave It to Beaver remains a fascinating topic for fans who grew up watching the classic American family show. Jerry Mathers, who played the Beaver Cleaver, continued acting throughout his life. After the original series, he appeared in several TV shows and movies like This Is My Love, 1954, and The Seven Little Foys, 1955, also including reunion specials like Still the Beaver and The New Leave It to Beaver. Besides this, Mathers took on different roles outside of acting, such as working as a loan officer at a bank, and then decided to use his well-invested beaver savings to get involved in real estate, following as a representative for diabetes awareness, drawing from his personal experience with the condition. Mather's public appearances and involvement in meet and greets with fans have kept his connections to the show and its legacy strong. Then Hugh Beaumont, who played Ward Cleaver. He had a career that was beyond acting, Beaumont played in a lot of movies until 1953, filling the gaps in between with roles in which he played actual characters. In total, before Leave It to Beaver, he appeared in 86 movies. In 1957, he found the role the public would come to know him best as Ward Cleaver, who always had the perfect words of advice for both his sons Wally and Beaver. After Leave It to Beaver, Beaumont took on a few more acting roles, but gradually shifted his focus on getting a degree in theology and was appointed as a minister. Beaumont had an interest in writing and directing which also became prominent in later years. His departure from Hollywood 
allowed him to engage more deeply with his interests and hobbies until his passing in 1982. Barbara Billingsley, the iconic and legendary June Cleaver, actively participated in the entertainment industry long after the series ended. Other than that, she also worked as a fashion model. After the end of Leave It to Beaver, she continued acting, making memorable appearances in films like Airplane, where she humorously played a woman who could speak jive. Like Hugh, Barbara appeared in dozens of films in uncredited roles. It was steady, but not fulfilling. Television, on the other hand, gave her more to do in the shows she found herself cast in. Most of it was single episode appearances, though there were multiple opportunities on anthologies like Four Star Playhouse and Schlitz Playhouse of Stars. Billingsley's portrayal of June became a standard, and she often participated in reunion specials and interviews, discussing her character and its overall impact on the audience. Barbara's charm and grace remained obvious until her passing in 2010. Then comes Tony Dow, who played the responsible older brother of Wally Cleaver. Tony wasn't really into the idea of an entertainment life. He more or less got into acting accidentally at the age of 11, and then this accident transitioned into a successful career behind the camera. Like his fellow castmates, when Leave It to Beaver finished its run, Tony began. Later, Dow also became an accomplished director and producer, working on series like Babylon 5 and Swamp Thing. In addition to his work in television, Dow developed a passion for art, particularly sculpting, and his work has been exhibited internationally. His artistic endeavors illustrate a creative spirit that expanded beyond acting. With Beaver's friend and regular mischief accomplice Larry Mondello missing from the second half of the series, the Leave It to Beaver crew needed someone new to start the stories about Beaver's usual misunderstandings and mix-ups. That character was Gilbert, played by Stephen Talbot, who appeared primarily in the show's final seasons. Stephen Talbot pursued a career in journalism and documentary filmmaking after leaving acting. Talbot became a producer for PBS's Frontline and wrote numerous award-winning investigative pieces. Jerry Weil, who portrayed Judy Hensler, moved away from acting after her time on Leave It to Beaver. She focused on her education and eventually found a career in real estate. Weil's life after Hollywood reflects a shift in her priorities. Tui Brown, Wally's friend, was played by Luke Tiger Fafara for the first three seasons of the series. While frequently sharing screen time with Wally's other renowned chum, Eddie Haskell, Tui was more composed than the arrogant Eddie. He stepped back from acting after the series and pursued a career as a truck driver, embracing a life far removed from his days in the spotlight. Fafara's choice to lead a more private life is one of the most extreme career shifts. Richard Rickover, played by Rick Carell, found significant success as a television director and producer. Carell has been involved in popular shows like Hannah Montana and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and had a major role in the success of several Disney Channel hits. His work in the industry showcases his enduring influence on television even after Leave it to Beaver. Pamela Baird, who played Mary Ellen Rogers, left acting to focus on her personal life. She embraced family life and remained largely out of the entertainment spotlight. Veronica Cartwright, who played Violet Rutherford, went on to have a prolific acting career in film and television. She appeared in iconic films like Alien and The Birds, establishing herself as a versatile and talented actress. Cartwright's ability to transition into more mature roles allowed her to continue captivating audiences long after her Leave It to Beaver days. Tim Matheson, who played Mike Harmon, became a well-known actor and director. He starred in films like Animal House and the television series The West Wing. Matheson's dynamic career includes a variety of roles that highlight his talent and adaptability in the industry, keeping him in the public eye for decades. Mimi Gibson, who appeared as Mary Tyler, continued acting in various projects before eventually stepping away from the industry. She focused on her family and personal interests, illustrating a balanced approach to life after childhood stardom. Each cast member of Leave It to Beaver has followed a unique path, reflecting a mix of ongoing involvement in entertainment and ventures into new territories. Their stories demonstrate how the impact of early fame can lead to diverse and fulfilling life choices, whether in the public eye or beyond it. Now that we have answered all the questions surrounding the mysterious disappearance of Rusty Stevens, let's move on to more exciting Hollywood history. Let us know which stories you want us to debunk next in the comments.